Hi. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Oliver from Berlin, Germany, from Berliner Sensor Technik. And we have developed and produced a cool Internet of Things. So where um, does it go there? Uh, it, it, what is it used for? It, it is used to monitor the wastewater at Deutsche Bahn high-speed trains. So, uh, waste from the toilets and stuff like yes. that? Yes. And what is the monitor with it? Yeah. So, uh, it's a pump from the tanks and this pumping can sometimes fail. So, there can be a problem with the pumps and the flow of the wastewater is monitored by this device and if there's something wrong, then it will automatically be diagnosed and sent wirelessly by LTEM with 4G. Uh, what is it monitoring there? What does it uh, check for? Um, it checks for flow, so whether it is a proper disposal or not. And the challenge in this case is that it's not simply a yes or no question. It's a, it's a question for a pattern recognition system, because sometimes the flow goes slower, and sometimes it's stuck, and sometimes it's not stuck. And uh, that is a difficult decision. And where is your sensor? The sensor is well, inside, in this case, so um, it has a probe which you can, um, sorry, uh, you can see here. It's a little hole in a protected corner, so it will not be hurt by the water. And it's reliable, it's mass yeah. production, yeah. it's already used? Not mass production, but production. So there are 40 of them in use for over a year, 24 seven. So they're permanently in use. And they have a battery life of more than three months. So with one battery charge, it works for uh, quite a long time and it has a permanent connection to the wire. Uh, is it possible to make smaller ones for vans and buses and stuff, or uh, is it best to use it in a train? Um, we could consider that, but there's a special challenge uh, with the trains, because um, um, the, the trains have there are a lot of trains, and there are a lot of pumping stations. So currently there's not much transparency, so it's difficult to figure out whether they are working or not. With sm smaller units, it's easier. And we hear the Zephyr booth. Yes. It's running Zephyr? Yes. It's so what, what is the chip in there? Yeah. What is the there, system? There's a Nordic NRF9160, which is a beautiful ARM, um, uh, ARM chip, which uh, works with integrated LTEM and NB-IoT. So it's integrated wireless in one chip, in a single chip. Other units have dual chips, but it works on a, in a single unit. And it's all operated by a real-time operating system. What's the advantage of using Zephyr? Um, we have several sensors working in parallel, and they have to uh, work at the same time, more or less. So we have an, um, an NFC reader, which is here, so it can detect the number of the sensor uh, and the number of the tank and uh, the train. Because if there is uh, something wrong with the train, then it has to know which train and which tank. And that's detected by the NFC sensor, and uh, it has this wireless connection with LTE, that's the second part of this multitasking system. And you have the sensor, of course, you have, you have an accelerometer, and so several units at the same time. How long is the battery? Was well, connected all the time? It's connected all the time, but uh, still it works for more than three months. So we are planning to have a runtime of uh, 12 months, but right now it's three months. All right, so it keeps charging or there's a battery or no need? Um, when the battery is yeah. empty, it's replaced and we, it's charged uh, at another place because this has to be shockproof and waterproof and so on. All right. And it has to be permanent in use, so we cannot uh, dismount it in order to charge it. Are there other people doing stuff like this or is it very special? No, it's very new. So it's a brand new, there's nothing like it because generally you have flow meters and the flow meters detect the flow of liquid but uh, this, that's, a, that's a kind of thing, yeah. It's a, that's a kind of signals that are sent by the sensors. And uh, normally flow meters, they have to do with liquid. And, but this is wastewater. It's, uh, so it's very hard to tell whether the pumping process has completed or not. All right, cool. And uh, so it's a great show for you? Yeah, yeah. And you're and doing presentations. Yes, uh, we are at the uh, Embedded World Conference at well, as well. And uh, Jonas from Fitech and I, we have had a class today about Zephyr and about pattern recognition, which was 
uh, quite popular, so a lot of people were there, there was great interest, and we really enjoyed it. The chip has the AI? The chip um, has it, we, have a special, we have a special pattern recognition. Uh, in, uh, it's uh, all built uh, in software, so it's our own software. We do not have a standard toolkit taken from others. It's something that we built ourselves, so it's unique. You don't need to use uh, one of these neural network accelerators? No, it would not be reliable enough for our case because we are not, it's not tolerable to have uh, wrong judgments. It has to be a very strict uh, rules according uh, to the customer from Deutsche Bahn. So they have very strict, uh, uh, a very strict decision of what is uh, detected and all. And this works according to their specifications. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.